It's easy to see why New Zealand captures people's imaginations. It's stunning beauty across a variety of landscapes. The ideal cinematic stand-in for the Lord of the Rings Middle Earth. But it turns out there's more to New Zealand than meets the eye. About 1.9 million square miles more. In February 2017, the Geological Society of America published a startling paper. Zealandia, Earth's hidden continent. Geologist Nick Mortimer was the lead author. To discover Zealandia is to change the map of the world, quite literally. Uh, beforehand, most people would say, yes, we've got seven continents, they could count them off. But now the world map's changed and we've got an eighth one on there. Mortimer says in the beginning, there was no search for Zealandia. This research was an outgrowth of everyday scientific efforts to gain a better understanding of New Zealand and its natural history. And so what the various geological investigations have led us to is that uh, we do have the, the components of a continent here. We didn't start out to try and prove its existence. But that's exactly what Mortimer and his colleagues did. Now geologists look at things slightly differently. We don't stop at the low water mark. We continue on a bit beyond that onto what are called the continental shelves. When a routine expedition to dredge the seafloor turned into a true voyage of discovery. It's a big ocean out there. There's lots of big distances between these places. It takes a long time to transit in ships, you know. Near the remote Chatham Islands, 1,000 kilometers from New Zealand. We expected to get black basalt lava like we'd got at every other dredge on the expedition so far. But instead of getting black basalt lava, up came a granite. And this is a real surprise to all of us because granites are icons of, of the continents. Lab analysis of the rocks changed the mindset of Mortimer and his team at GNS Science and defined their ultimate pursuit, Zealandia. It was natural that geologists would say that yes, there are certain aspects of the geology of New Zealand that are continental. That's the adjective continental. But what the big change is and in confidence and the amount of data that we've got now in the last 10 and 20 years is that we think we can change that adjective into a noun. We're not just continental, we're, we're a continent. Mortimer and his team confirmed four geological markers, the qualifying criteria for a continent. Height, a varied geology or diversity of rock types, a thick crust, and ultimately size. Is it big enough? And we, we can tick all the boxes, the, the various attributes of the continent. Corroborating data include rock samples, ocean drill cores, and satellite microgravity measurements translated into bathymetric or elevation maps of the sea floor. And this has been really, really helpful to us uh, around Zealandia. It's emphasized that Zealandia has a hard edge around it and a definite boundary against the ocean crust. So when you pull the plug on the world's oceans, you literally reveal the continent of Zealandia. If you look at a map of the world's seafloor, you can see that uh, the Zealandia continent stands at least three kilometers high above the big flat ocean plains in the Pacific Ocean and the Tasman Sea. With 94% of Zealandia underwater, the islands of New Zealand and New Caledonia are just the tip of this continental iceberg. And measuring in at 4.9 million square kilometers, Zealandia is six times bigger than the so-called microcontinent of Madagascar, and more than twice as large as Greenland, which also happens to be attached to North America. To understand Zealandia's origins, we must travel back in time to the time of the supercontinent Gondwana, comprised of what we know today as Africa, South America, Antarctica, and Australia. When Gondwana split apart 80 million years ago, it was a bit like the stretching of bread dough in a kitchen. And then you start to pull that big lump of dough apart. And uh, if, if you pull slowly, some of those pieces will stretch and get thinner. Just like Zealandia, which broke off and slowly sank 
because of its relatively thin continental crust. It's not as thick as the main continents, but it is thicker than the ocean crust. And geophysicists know that when you have thin crust, it floats lower in the mantle, and so it sits lower elevation-wise, and, and that explains in very simple terms why Zealandia is so submerged. Situated between the Pacific Plate and the Australian Plate, tectonic forces squeezed Zealandia, raising out of the water what we know today as New Zealand. Our understanding of Zealandia now provides new context for scientific investigations into subjects like the region's evolutionary biology. The flora and fauna of New Zealand and New Caledonia, the native animals and plants, they're not just special to the countries, but they are the, the flora and fauna on a drowned continent. Basically, we think that Zealandia is a more accurate way to, to show the, the geology of the Southwest Pacific. Maps that don't show Zealandia as a continent, world, world maps that don't show Zealandia as a continent, are less accurate uh, than ones that do. With no official body to elevate the status of Zealandia, the question is, will children learn of the world's eighth continent? Mortimer and his team aim to influence the curriculum. In the coming years, now that we've got Zealandia in the, in the scientific arena, we, we do hope to consolidate it and to promote Zealandia in New Zealand schools, first of all, and we hope to get it in atlases, on globes. We hope that Zealandia will become as, as common and well-known as, as any of the other major continents. Of course, the initial buzz about Zealandia can only help its name recognition. The notion that something so big and so important could be hidden for so long, um, I think uh, captured people's imagination. Now New Zealanders, all four and a half million of them, from Wellington to Auckland and beyond, can add to their identity an uncommon sense of pride. Yeah, I mean, it's actually quite cool for us Kiwis to have our own continent down here in the, in the Southwest Pacific. If you add uh, an eighth continent to the list of continents, then if you want to run a marathon on all of the continents within a year, or climb all the highest peaks, then there's an extra one to do now.